This is Bill with Murray Services. I've done a few videos now on the Echoby thermostat that's being installed in the Clayton manufactured housing. And uh, the last one that we've covered had to do with uh, hooking up a system, a heat pump, on an electric furnace. We're seeing more and more systems that are um, putting heat pumps on a gas furnace or what Lot would call a dual fuel system. And this is where your heat pump will do the majority of the heating uh, down to about 30 degrees, 30 to 35 degrees. We'll get to that setting here in just a moment. And after it gets to that point, what it will do is it'll switch over to the gas furnace. Uh, you cannot operate a gas furnace dual fuel system the same way you do an electric. You cannot have your auxiliary and your heat pump running at the same time. Uh, because of the placement of the coal. So when you get to this point, when you start the system up, you'll see this high there screen. If you do not see this, there should be some bars over here on the left. Go ahead and hit that, take it into the settings and do a reset. And that will get you back to this point. And then hit let's get started. Go ahead and tell it you are a pro because that will give you more options than just going through this plain setup. Now this system, you know, what I'm what I'm going to walk you through now, will work on most systems that you will be seeing in manufactured housing. This will work for the carrier system, the train system, a Goodman system, a Nordine system, any of the systems where the uh, reversing valve is energized in a cool mode, which is most of the systems at this point. Tell it you understand the, the warning, and you will tell it that yes, you only have the RC connected. Uh, you also will tell it that you have a single or variable speed fan. And then when you get to this point, you'll see that you should have the RC, the G, the Y1, the OB, the C, and the W1. These should all be highlighted. If they are not highlighted, if all of these are not highlighted, then you either do not have a heat pump going on a furnace or you need to contact your installer um, because there is usually a wire loose or something of that nature. And then tell it yes, unless you're in Europe or somewhere, you'll probably want to hit yes to Fahrenheit and that you're using an air to air system. Now this is where the, the, the difference would be in some other systems, uh, but you want to tell it that you are on cool. Now, if you have the older generation of the uh, last year's generation of the Echobee, you will actually have to change this because they come set for on heat. So go ahead and tell it on cool. Now, this is where the difference between the gas furnace and the electric furnace is. Uh, when you get to this point, it asks you if you want to allow the heat pump and the auxiliary to run simultaneously. That you will want to hit disable. Uh, otherwise, you'll get some high pressures and damage your system. Now, when you get to here, in this, in, in the area that we live in, in East Tennessee, you're usually going to want to set this between 30 and 35 degrees. Um, that, what that is, is at that point, uh, when it reaches this point, and it will need, connect, need to connect to the internet to know this, but when it reaches this point, what it will do is it will actually turn off the heat pump, switch everything over to the gas system, and then enter. Uh, set your furnace, uh, tell it you want your thermostat uh, to be run by the furnace on the gas. Then tell it, okay, and name it whatever you want to. Most people will go ahead and leave it and named at, um, as Echoby. Uh, at this point, we're going to do the skip the Wi-Fi. If you already have your Wi-Fi set up, you can either connect to your iPhone at this point or if you know your passwords and everything, go ahead and hit uh, select Wi-Fi setup. Go ahead and leave that on off. Um, this is your preference. Most people will set this to 70 uh, to be your ideal heat setting and about 75 for your ideal cool setting. Uh, you live in the United States. If you're in East Tennessee, you would set that for New York. If you're uh, anywhere else in the world, just set it to whatever time zone you're in. Then go ahead and set your time. Uh, right now we're at about nine o'clock on a uh, 9.15 a.m. 
hit next and uh, then set it for your time or your date. And hit next and then finish and when you get to that point then it will um, it finishes the setup as you hit whatever temperature you want it on uh, typically at this point you will see a um, a bar down here that will tell you that the system is disabled while it is calibrating sometimes it can take up to 15 minutes so don't get nervous uh, if it takes a while before your system comes on just let it run for a pretty good while and uh, that'll eventually go away and it should kick into your heat or air conditioning mode. Thank you very much.